Understanding and Managing Herpes Simplex Virus, HSV, a comprehensive guide for HSV-1 and HSV-2. Understanding HSV-1 and HSV-2, HSV-1 and HSV-2, also known as herpes simplex virus types 1 and 2, are two strains of a virus that cause herpes, a lifelong condition marked by periodic outbreaks. HSV-1 usually causes oral herpes, leading to sores commonly referred to as cold sores or fever blisters. HSV-2, on the other hand, typically causes genital herpes, which is sexually transmitted and can result in genital sores or ulcers. Transmission herpes is transmitted through direct contact with a herpes blister or sore, or by contact with the saliva or genital secretions of an individual with the virus. The virus is most likely to spread during an outbreak or immediately after one, when the virus is shedding. HSV-1 is typically contracted in early childhood and can spread through non-sexual contact such as sharing utensils, lip balm, or through kissing. HSV-2 is usually spread through sexual contact. Condoms can reduce the risk, but they do not completely eliminate it, as the virus can infect areas not covered by a condom. Symptoms Herpes symptoms can vary greatly. Some people may have severe symptoms during the first outbreak, and then less severe symptoms in subsequent outbreaks. Others may never show symptoms, even though they are carriers of the virus. Common symptoms include blisters or sores in the mouth or genital area flu-like symptoms, such as fever, body aches, and swollen glands over time. Outbreaks tend to decrease in frequency and severity as the body builds immunity against the virus. For HSV-2, the rash usually presents in the genital area including the buttocks, anus, thighs, and lower abdomen. In women, it can also appear on the cervix, vulva and in men on the penis. The blisters may rupture, ooze fluid, and eventually crust over before healing, which usually occurs without leaving scars. The entire process can take anywhere from 7 to 14 days. Additionally, skin around the rash might be swollen and tender. Management herpes is a chronic condition, but there are various ways to manage the disease. Acute management. Antiviral medications, such as acyclovir, valacyclovir, or famcyclovir, can help to reduce the severity and duration of the outbreak if taken soon after symptoms appear. Topical creams can provide some symptom relief but are not as effective as oral medications. Recurrent management. For those with frequent recurrences, daily suppressive therapy with antiviral medication can reduce the frequency of outbreaks and the risk of transmitting the virus to others. Chronic management. Lifestyle modifications, including stress management and avoidance of known triggers, can help to decrease the frequency of outbreaks. Here's a summary of typical treatment regimens. 1. Acute treatment for an initial outbreak of either oral or genital herpes, a typical antiviral treatment regimen might involve acyclovir 400 mg orally 3 times a day for 7 to 10 days, valacyclovir 1 gram orally twice a day for 7 to 10 days, famcyclovir 250 mg orally 3 times a day for 7 to 10 days. These medicines help to reduce the severity and duration of an outbreak if taken soon after the onset of symptoms. 2. For recurrent outbreaks, antiviral medications are often prescribed to be taken at the first sign of symptoms to reduce the severity and duration of the outbreak. The regimen can include acyclovir 800 mg orally 3 times a day for 2 days, valacyclovir 500 mg orally twice a day for 3 days, famcyclovir 125 mg orally twice a day for 5 days. 3. Chronic suppressive treatment for individuals who have frequent outbreaks, six or more per year, daily suppressive therapy can be considered to reduce the frequency of outbreaks and the risk of transmission to others. The regimen can include acyclovir 400 mg orally twice a day, valacyclovir 1 gram orally once a day, famcyclovir 250 mg orally twice a day. This treatment is continued for at least a year, after which the need for ongoing treatment is reassessed. While many individuals with HSV-1 or HSV-2 experience few complications, there can be serious health concerns associated with these viruses in some cases. Here are some potential complications. Neonatal herpes. This is a serious condition that can occur when a newborn is exposed to HSV in the genital tract during delivery. It can lead to skin, eye and mouth infections, central nervous system infections, and potentially be life-threatening. Secondary infections. Open sores from herpes can increase the risk of contracting another sexually transmitted infection, including HIV. 
Blindness. Ocular herpes, caused by HSV-1, can lead to cornea damage, and in severe cases, blindness. Meningitis or encephalitis. These are rare complications but can occur if the HSV infection spreads to the brain and spinal cord. Symptoms include headache, fever, stiff neck, and changes in mental status. Autoinoculation. Though not common, the virus can spread to other parts of the body. For example, if you touch a herpes sore and then touch another part of your body, such as the eyes or mouth, you can spread the infection to that area. Psychological distress. The social stigma and recurrent nature of the disease can lead to psychological distress and anxiety in some patients. It's important to manage herpes symptoms effectively to minimize the risk of these complications. If you think you may be at risk, it's crucial to speak with a healthcare provider. They can provide further information, recommend appropriate preventive measures, and provide treatment if necessary. Remember, while herpes is manageable, it is also highly contagious, especially during an outbreak. Safe practices such as using condoms and dental dams during sexual activity can help prevent transmission. If you're located in Nevada or Washington states and you're experiencing symptoms that could be related to HSV-1 or HSV-2, or you want more information, you can connect with healthcare professionals via your MD Online Connect app, or visit the website www.yourmd.online. The platform provides an opportunity for you to discuss your symptoms confidentially, and you can also explore potential treatment options with healthcare providers.